Hi guys, welcome to a vlog. I thought I would just start with this vlog today because I wanted to show you guys something. Go past this light, then at the next one, turn right. Um, I actually, in my back of my mind, I wanted to vlog today because I knew me and Alyssa were going to do some things to show you guys, but I just didn't want to vlog on my cam on my phone because my camera's still not working. But alas, we were on my phone. At the anyways. light, turn right onto. Um, we went to a little like uh, oh, cafe, God. coffee shop. Oh. oh my God. For some reason, Alyssa doesn't know how to drive and I have to tell her every single step on how to get places. Yeah. Yes, I do. Anyways, I wish I had my little thing, but we're stopped at a red light. I wanted to show you guys the book that I got, and also got a book. You got two books, huh? But first, earlier we went to a little like Parisian coffee shop, and we got croissants and coffee, and it was so good, like one of the best iced coffees I've had in a really long time. Best croissant ever. And a really, really yummy croissant. And then I got some macaroons to have. I wanted, I got like a few of them so I could eat when I get home. And then Alyssa got, did you get a cream puff or a fruit I tart? I a cream puff. Oh my God, why am I not eating that? Why am I eating this? I don't know why you're eating hot cheetos right now. But after that, we walked around. I almost bought a plant, but I don't know how to, whoops. I don't know how to hang it up in my room. So I didn't want to buy it and then have it like die sitting in my room. And then we went to a few vintage stores and they were actually really cute, but just so overpriced. You're going to make it right on 4th Street. Just, yeah. And then we meant to go to this one bookstore. It's a cat bookstore. And in half a mile. Um, but it was closed today for some reason. Like it's open every day of the week except for Mondays. Day. Yeah, except for today, which is really odd. So we went to another bookstore and I got this book of poems. I'm trying to collect books like for coffee, for like coffee table. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm just gonna learn to like that. Um, I hope when Elsa watches this vlog, she sees how bad her driving is just based on this footage. <laughs> I'm sorry, you should flip the camera to look how nice downtown looks. Really jerked. Peep the view. It's really pretty. Peep the view. I'm looking to collect like coffee table books for my nightstand because I want to put them on there, but I'm looking for more like fashion style or like really thick magazines, but they didn't have any at this point. A particular bookstore but I found this instead and that's why I got it but we're on our way to another bookstore um, it's called the last bookstore in downtown it's pretty popular very hot tourist spot yeah a lot of people go there Ryan Little. <laughs> I vlog. Okay, so um, we're back. I vlogged a little bit of us walking to the bookstore and then I vlogged a little bit inside. Um, we stopped and got a snack. I would consider this a snack. We're gonna know as 10 wings. <laughs> I also got 10 wings. Oh! oh. oh give me, give me, give me. I got buffalo fries. Wait, mine's a little even better than yours. This is kind of my dinner though. Wait, trust, mine's a little even better. Oh my God. Wet snoot? Whoa, dude, all that buffalo just hit my Lisa nose. literally got 10 piece wings. FML forever. FML forever. You know, you know. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I'm eating a fork If anyone knows who Dwight Snoot is, let us know. Comment down below. No. Hi, vlog. Um, it is a little bit later now. I don't know why I have black under my eye. I thought I took off the mascara, but I guess not. The lighting is pretty scary right here. But I am home now. Shower word. I'm wearing this cheetah pajama top that I got. It's actually juicy. I thrifted it. Um, and sorry about that like fire alarm noise. I swear to God, guys, I've changed the battery like so many times. Like I bought new batteries and changed it and one in the hallway 
like all upstairs i've changed them all. i don't know why it's still going off that's why i told you guys it's broken and you guys keep commenting about it i know trust me it bothers me i don't know when i'm gonna fix that but anyways i'm drinking a tea um i'm drinking london fog tea a girl at my work a year ago showed me it and then i just recently started getting back into it but you guys kind of know i've been in a tea vibe lately but i put almond milk vanilla sweetened vanilla almond milk to it and it's super good and i got decaf so i can drink it at night so i don't like feel like i have to stay up but i thought i'd show you guys um the little things that i just added to my room recently this glass lamp well, i don't know if you guys knew or not but i had it i thrifted it a while ago like over the summer and i saw this girl that i follow have a lamp literally exactly like mine and i was thinking about getting rid of it but i liked hers let me take this out because it's just ruining the vibes um and this so this is basically my nightstand situation for now but i got the two books that i thrifted today my poem book and then i got a book that's called chloe the designer um it's basically just a picture of editorial which i really was looking for a book like that and then i just have this crystal coaster that i got from anthropology this green candle that i got from dollar tree and then just my plate of trinkets or not trinkets basically my jewelry that i wear almost every day and then my CBD gummies, um, diffuser, and this little, like, good luck cat that I've had for a really long time. Honestly, I think my mom got me that, like, years ago. That's my mom. What are you doing? <sighs> my room. But you got me this little cat, like, a long time ago for good luck. Oh, yeah. I've Who's had it. The... My vlog. Oh. Um, this isn't final either because I ordered a perfume tray, but it hasn't come in yet. So this is kind of just how I move things around right now. Um, this candle normally is like somewhere else, but I just put it here so it can be in the center of my room so it smells nice. But I put all my perfumes right here. I have the Valentino one. That's my favorite that I wear every day. And then when I bought it, it came with a mini one. So I have that when I go travel. Mom. <laughs> my candle that says smells like Timothy Chalamet. My perfume by KKW Beauty. I think this one's KKW Beauty Body 2. Is one that I got. I got it a while ago when she was having a sale. And then this, right? Not right now. I'm filming. And then I got this crystal oil um, roll-on perfume that you guys saw me get a while ago too. That whey perfume that I've, I got in Wisconsin. I think I showed you guys. And then my most recent perfume that my mom got me for Christmas is this Gucci Bloom. It's a roll-on. I want to buy another one. It's a Mar by Marc Jacobs. I might get it maybe later this week because I got a gift card. So I might buy it, and then I've always had this picture of me and Alyssa. She got it for me for my birthday last year. And then I forgot I had this, so I wanted to put her out. Um, Japanese geisha outfit. Um, when I was in high school, we actually had foreign exchange students come, uh, like, stay with us. And we were, like, paired up with one person, and we'd give them, like, gifts. And they'd give us gifts, and she got me this, and I, so I've had it for a few years. And that's an old picture of my dad that my mom actually gave me. Um, I just thought it was funny and i keep it on my thing and then this is a candle too that i actually got out of the store i like that it's like a circle it's just for decor this candle i've had for so long it says libra but i don't like it but i just can't get rid of it i like how this side's pink and then this side's more like black and white neutral and then my newest addition that i love so much this plant that i got at the silver lake flea market i posted it on instagram but i haven't really showed you guys my youtube so this is my debut i want to name it so comment down below some names it doesn't have a name yet and then just my other jewelry holders. I have this crystal one and then this other one. Oops. It's more antique looking, but I can't open it with one hand. And then my lighters, melatonin, puff, whatever this is called, USB drive, my LED lights. And then I just got this card for my dad that says Young AF. It's my mom's birthday, but that's my newest setup for my thing. Still have that, but I'm I wanna redo this one. I think I wanna make it like wider. But all the things, my hooks keep falling, so I need to redo that. But this part of my room is still a mess. Oh, this whole depop section is still a mess, but I put these new plants. I got that plant for Christmas. I've had that plant, but I just moved it here. I don't really love this setup so far, but I'm just leaving it like that for now because I'm waiting for my perfume tray to reorganize everything. And then I moved my crystals over here. You guys know it used to be there. So I moved my crystals here and then my Vivian Westwood box. I just thought it was pretty, but I don't really love the way this looks. So I'm going to have to figure something out. 
And then up here is these candles that I don't know where I got, but I'm sure you can get them at like the Dollar Tree. But I got these glass candle holders at the thrift store. Sarah got me this candle for Christmas. And then this is a really old picture of my mom and dad that I love um, when they were like my age, I think, or probably younger. So that video was way too long for no reason. I didn't mean to make a video that long, um, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys. Fuck, that noise is so fucking annoying. Don't comment about it. I know. If you comment about it, just say you know the struggle is real. Do not comment about that I have a noise in the background because I know. I know. I've changed it so many times. And I don't know what to do about it. But my grandpa's coming over tomorrow, so maybe I'll ask him. Because we had a leak in our house yesterday. In our downstairs kitchen. So that wasn't fun. But my grandpa's coming tomorrow to fix something or like inspect it or whatever so i'm gonna have him see what's going on with my fire alarm also our fridge broke so we have to get a new fridge as well our house is kind of going through it right now for the beginning of 2021 but i'm still sending out good vibes tomorrow i'm hanging i'm gonna see mackenzie and sarah we're gonna go thrifting and go to ulta and i'm really excited about going to ulta because i've been wanting to go to sephora and ulta for a while and get new skincare products because all the ones that i'm using i just do not vibe with anymore i need a spf i need a sunscreen i want a new moisturizer and then i want to get the coast of skin tint because sarah told me i would like it because she uses it and then tomorrow's my dad's birthday so we're gonna have dinner with him tomorrow night oh also my camera's still not working i really haven't had time to go get it fixed well i guess i could have gone today but i just like didn't but yeah i haven't really made i haven't made time to go get my camera fixed which i need to do sometime this week and I have a few videos that I have to edit this week, but this is a week in my life vlog. So this week, I'm really far behind on Vlogmas. I'm sorry if you've been waiting, but my camera being broke delayed me. And then I bought this so I could use my memory card instead of using my camera because I showed you guys in like a vlog or two vlogs ago that I use my camera to get the footage to my laptop. Mind if I inform everybody about something? Hold on. Um, yeah, so then I got this USB thing so I can use my memory card. So yeah, I'm a little bit late. So Vlogmas week four, the last week of Vlogmas will be up now. But it'll already be up by, um, I'm going to edit it this week. But it'll already be up by the time this video goes up. And then after that, I have to edit the assumptions about me video, which will also be up. And then it'll be this week. So basically I'm vlogging the first week of January. So I'm still kind of, I only did a week off from actually filming. It seems like I'm really far behind, but I was actually been filming this whole time. It just took me longer to edit. I don't want you guys to think that I'm slacking off, which I kind of am, but not really my fault because my camera broke. But yeah, there should be two videos that are up already, and then I'm going to be basically vlogging in the first week of January. Oh, so what do you have to say? I don't even mean able when we're talking about Twilight. I mean, look like literally yeah, yeah, the lighting is not good. And you know, I was like, I'm not sure if the push is in Washington. I was like, I know some set, uh, some sets in Twilight wasn't all in Washington, and it was Bella and the Collins house. They were their houses are in Oregon. Uh, yeah. Is it Oregon, Washington, or Washington, Oregon? Washington top and then Oregon. So we have to drive further to see their house. No, we have to go further to go to Forks. Oregon is before Washington. Where's their house? Their houses is in Oregon. Oh. So further to Forks. Mm. But we still, well, I mean, that would work because we'd see their house and then we'd go to Forks. Then we're going to La Push. We are like dying. That would be really cool to vlog. We're dying to do a road trip to Forks, Washington, probably with like our cousins and my godmom because fellow Twilight fanatics. We've been like, we've been Twilight fanatics since. Since it literally came out. Yeah. I'm trying to think how old I was. I was like nine. <laughs> When it came out, Perfect. when the first movie came out, Zep, get out, hey, get out. That would be really cool to vlog, and I think this is like a good time to go because it's cold. Watch this. At the end of January, we should go. Yeah. But I know traveling Come is on. not really like a thing right now, but I'm sure- I feel like road trips is like an yeah, exception. Yeah, I feel like we would stay like in our car the whole time and then just like wherever we decide to sleep. I don't think we'd be doing like, you can't like sightsee like the Collins house, like you literally just- have to pass by Jeez, it. My rib cage looks huge Dude, in that. Why are you showing that in my vlog? Okay, I've been vlogging for so long. I'm gonna chill out now. <laughs> Good night, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. My Carpool karaoke with my sister. Sometime, and I wanna spend some time with you.
avocado like spread so I can eat my bagel sandwich with but I thought I'd show you guys how I make my tea um this is a dirty cup why is this out I normally like to use a bigger cup than this but I guess I'll just use this one for now I've been wanting to get more mugs I have a lot actually but I just want bigger ones maybe I can use this one this one's cute okay so let me turn on the hot water first Okay, so um, if you guys have had a London Fog tea latte or like any type of London Fog, um, then you don't really need a tutorial because you've already had it. But in case you've never heard of it, I found this out from a coworker I had like a year ago and it's super good. If you've ever had milk tea, like milk tea boba, I think it tastes pretty similar to that. It's super good. So you're just gonna need an Earl Grey tea and that's what I'm using. Bagels toasting. Add a little bit more time to that. And um, I use almond milk. You guys can use whatever milk you want, but I use the um, almond milk vanilla because I like vanilla better. And let me grab. I'm going to add vanilla extract to it um, just to make it a little bit more sweeter because the tea itself is not that sweet. And I like it to be sweet. So just a little bit of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. I don't know if the like normal way actually calls for cinnamon. And then I'm just going to pour in the almond milk. Normally people pour it in after. But I'm just, I pour it in now while I wait for my hot water to brew. I didn't add. I, have, I could add more. I'm going to see how it tastes. Um, I kind of just eyeball it. I don't really have any measurements for you. And then sometimes I add honey too to make it a little bit sweeter. That's my bagel. Um, I made, finished my bagel. It's basically just a bagel with avocado. And I think my mom mixed it with um, garlic salt and red chili flakes. And then I added pickled jalapenos on top. You guys know I love pickled jalapenos. It sounds like my water's done. I just have this hot tea kettle. I got it from Amazon. Um, if you don't have one, I highly recommend it. This one was like literally only $15. And I just pour the water in. Just gonna add a little bit of honey to make it sweet. Guys, I'm actually super happy that I'm in like a tea stage because I think when I first moved to San Francisco, I was like in a major tea stage and I only wanted to drink tea and I never drink coffee. And then just as my time went on, living there and then like up until recently I've been a big coffee drinker which I still am I like to drink coffee but I either heard it from someone or I read it somewhere that like coffee just can really dull out your skin and I think it's been staining my teeth a lot so I'm just like really not into that and I love tea I know there's people I know there's people who drink coffee because I hate tea, but I'm glad that I love tea. I just like have to get into that mood. Because sometimes my coffee is just so good, I just can't give it up. But yeah, this is how you make a London Fog tea latte. Just looks like that. Now I'm going to eat my toast, or eat my bagel. Also, have you guys noticed how puffy I look when I wake up? Like this eye's legit swollen. 
And my lips are always bigger. I wish my lips stayed like this throughout the day. They look key shrivel. We are at the mall, exchanging some stuff. <laughs> Actually at my old stomping grounds and I've been hiding my face because I don't want to see any of my ex-coworkers. Not that I didn't like them if you watched this video, but <laughs> it's just like a little bit awkward. Hi guys, I am back home now. Alec is sitting across from me. Yep. We stopped and got Subway. My sister tech. Um, I'm vlogging, oh. but my sister texted me that she wanted Subway and she had been making fun of me for eating Subway, even though Subway's bomb. So then it put Subway in my mind. So me and my mom stopped and got Subway. And I, if you're wondering what I get from Subway, picture everything that they have to offer. I put, I put that in my sandwich. I'm just not a picky eater kind of gal, my dog. Well, except for avocado, they didn't have them. Oh yeah, they didn't have avocado, which was like rude. Also, I didn't put mustard on it because I felt embarrassed the amount of things that I asked. So I just gonna use my own mustard. Well, she was like already trying to close it and I was like, oh, I still want mustard. People always say, just put everything. Looks good. I'm just gonna open her up and drop some mustard in there. Sorry, my dad called me. Um, having a big sister, oldest sister moment. If you're an oldest sibling, you can relate. I'll get into that after, but um, anyways, my dad got into, my dad got me a gift from Macy's. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Um, they didn't have the size that I was gonna change it for, so I got this instead because I actually wanted it more and it was the same price for some reason. Um, I went to Nordstrom's with my friends last week and i saw this perfume and i was like this is the most me perfume i've ever seen and i smelt it and it was beautiful it is the mark jacobs perfect i think this is new because i've never seen this before and i got this instead da -da -da. it's so cute it came with a lotion and i think this is the medium size one because this is like a gift set um it came with the lotion and the medium size one this isn't the biggest one um, but I don't think I need the biggest one because, yeah. Um, as I was saying, if you're an oldest sibling, you'll relate to just having to be the second mom to your siblings. Um, yeah, it's basically like, I'm pretty sure like from a week from now when I'm editing this video, it will be so pointless, but. All I can say is that I am so ready to move out and get my own space, my own place that's mine and bigger, um, which kind of ties into the next thing I was gonna talk to you guys about. Um, I'm 100% outgrowing my room and I think I told you guys this already, but I just cannot believe how much stuff I have. And I never thought I would outgrow my room, but I have, and I'm gonna start cleaning it right now. I brought my rack back up, my dad finally, or my grandpa dropped it off, my dad sent my grandpa to drop it off and I have all this stuff that I have to put away. But I do always make my bed because I feel better when I make my bed a little bit. I never even showed you guys my outfit today. I'm just wearing this sweater from Brandy. It's actually my sister's, she got it for Christmas. And then just this plain white tank top and these light blue Levi jeans. These are my favorite jeans. I accidentally ripped them on the butt, but it looks fine. And then my Reeboks that my sister got me. Um, sad fact, fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. These pants used to be baggy on me. Now they're hella tight. So Christmas 15 is here. I'm gonna edit a video after I clean my room and make a tea and read my book. Oh my God, you guys. I didn't tell you, but this is my new, oh, I think I did tell you, I forget what I talk about and don't, but my newest nighttime routine is cleaning my room and either like watching, yesterday I was just watching a little bit of Netflix and then actually haven't been going on TikTok as much, which is kind of weird, like for the past like couple of days, which I know is not that long, but I literally go on TikTok all the time. Well, I did for the past couple of days after I clean my room, I do my skincare, make a tea, um, I'll normally watch like at least like an episode or two of Netflix. Yesterday I like couldn't even finish one because I wanted to read 
Harry Potter um, and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I was gonna, start, I was only gonna read Deathly Hallows because that's my favorite movie, and Goblet of Fire. But we don't have Goblet of Fire. I only have, I think I'm missing that one. Um, but I got through a lot of it last night, and I actually really like it. And I think I was saying that this book was for sure made for kids at the time, but I love it. It's like more detailed than the movie, and I like it because I can picture the movie in my head but there's like extra things because I love the movie so much and I like wish there was just like more things about it. And that's why I love the book because there's like so many extra things and I really like it. So I got a lot in last night. So that's what I was saying. My new nighttime routine is cleaning my room, doing my skincare, making a tea, and then reading my book. So I was, I read this, I read like three chapters last night and then I knocked out, which was awesome. Okay. Hi, Sep. Morning, Seppy. Oh, I love you so much. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hey, girl. Good morning, you guys. I look so beautiful. I am coming downstairs because I am hungry. I left this bowl in my room, so just back down. Um, good morning. The lighting is so bad right here. Um, I'm gonna make a tea and oh my god, I've been so sleepy. I've been yawning like crazy all morning. I didn't wake up that early, like, I woke up around nine, but I was kind of woken up abruptly, and then I just couldn't fall back asleep after that. And then I just been on my phone laying down, and then now I'm ready to have coffee and eat, but. I don't think there's anything really to eat because I had oatmeal yesterday, but I ate the last of the fruits and toppings. I could always go to Starbucks and get a coffee later. Actually, I don't want a coffee. I want tea from here, but we don't have any food. I woke up pretty hungry. Da 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 da. I've actually been craving donuts. I just ate. My kitchen's kind of a mess. Yes. Um, you need to bring avocado toast. I know I was going to, but I was so hungry. I don't know what's going on with my eyebrows. Literally, soap brows have not been working. It just makes my makeup smear. And they haven't been lasting. But I do want a sneaky bite of a donut. Don't do it. I want one. I've been craving a donut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me and Lisa almost stopped at Krispy Kreme the other day. We're not going anymore. Well, the line was ridiculous, and I was like, I'm not waiting in the line for Krispy Kreme. Oh. Hi, guys. So it is a little bit later. Um, I literally can't stop looking at my eyebrows every time I turn on the camera because they're so disgusting. But now I'm doing a little bit of work from home. Um, I actually have really two exciting brands that want to work with me, so I'm super super excited about that um so i'm just selecting my items right now i have basically all of them selected um i just need to email them back with my uh products um one of them being nasty gal which is crazy um i've been shopping at nasty gal for like a long time and i've always like loved nasty gal and i thought it was super cool that they reached out to me and that they wanted to work together because it's a win-win because obviously you guys like to know where my clothes are from and stuff like that and i already shop at nasty go i think one of like my first videos that ever like went off on tiktok was where i shop and nasty go was one of them so it's just pretty cool then i get to work with them because i already shop there as it is um let's see i'll show you guys what i'm thinking about getting so far so right now I have this corduroy brown jacket in here. I really like it, but it just doesn't really match with anything I have picked out yet, so I'm debating that. This sweater I thought was just really cute. I'm obsessed with pullover sweaters right now. I thought this top was just really cute. I don't know if I'm obsessed with it, because I don't know if those tops look good on me, but... And then the sweater vest. And then these blue... I mean, these purple leather pants I thought were cool. And I thought this lounge set was really cute too. So I'm still debating because I think this is a little bit over the budget. 
I'm so beautiful. You guys, it's pretty not early in the day um, for me to be barely going downstairs, but I had a raging headache. I don't know why. Also, I binged watched. <laughs> it looks so scary. I binge watched uh, Bridgerton yesterday. It is so good. I didn't finish it. I don't know how many more episodes I have left, but I watched like eight episodes yesterday. I was up to like four. Don't know why. I don't really like staying up that late anymore, but yeah. And so right now I'm going to make myself some avocado toast and I'm going to have a lemon ginger tea. I know I've been drinking um, Earl Grey, but I don't know why. I just really feel like I want something more... This is like something different. I don't want something as sweet. And I love lemon ginger tea. That's probably like my next favorite tea. And then I just drown it in even more lemon and honey. So I'm gonna have a tea and then a avocado toast. But today is my dad's surprise party. He has no idea. Oops. Let me use this cup. Doesn't this cup look like my cat? Um, but yeah, today's my dad's surprise party. He like invited me and my siblings over for dinner but we're gonna go over earlier and like set up and stuff like that um i think he's like gonna go out to eat or like order food or something he thinks that we're ordering food but we're not um like my entire sorry my entire family is gonna be there not my entire family like his brothers and sisters and their kids um so yeah and um i'll probably block that because he thinks that we're coming over for like dinner or he was like bummed out because he, like no one normally in our, my dad's side of the family for like everyone's birthday we like to have a barbecue just for like that person's birthday and we like make whatever like they want but no one planned a barbecue for him so he's like i think he's been sad because he thinks that there's no barbecue but it's actually today so i'll love that hi guys i it is a little bit later now hi grandpa <laughs> Um, I thought I'd just show you guys a little bit of the decorations. I did not think they were gonna go this all out. We just have the tray of appetizers. I made this plate for my dad. My aunt made that one. My dad likes chips and hummus, extra crackers, shrimp cocktails. These are like uh, sweet empanadas. And these are the best candies in the entire world, trust. And then we make our way to <laughs> the bar, probably my dad's favorite part. It just looks so cute.